Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Hola, soy Brenda Romaniello, tu profesora de español. Bienvenidos a tu clase. Welcome to your Spanish class. My name is Brenda Romaniello, and today I'm going to teach you the genitive case in Spanish, how it works, and how to form it in Spanish. So what is the genitive case to start with? It's when in English, for example, we'd say this is Anna's book or Anna's house, Anna's mother, Anna's sister. That is the genitive case. When we establish belonging, yes, or um, when we establish the relationship between people and things, uh, in, in English, we're going to have that apostrophe, yes, after the person uh, that is uh, possessing, yes, or that we want to establish the possession relationship with, and then you have the apostrophe, the S, and there are, of course, other rules, and then we'll, we'll have whatever this person is um, possessing or the relation that we want to establish, yes, Anna's house. What we want to say here is that the house is Anna's, yes, Anna owns the house, or the house is hers. Okay, so we are going to learn how to do this uh, relationship, how it works, the genitive case in Spanish. There are two ways to show ownership or personal or family relationships in Spanish. We can say, number one, Marta es la madre de Ana. Yes, we can say Marta is Ana's mother. Or we can also say Marta es su madre. Yes, Marta es su madre. So Marta is her mother. On the second example, the family relationship is given by the possessive adjective su, which in this case means her. So we're going to have a look at the different possessive adjectives, yes, in the case of Marta es su madre, si Marta is her mother, we're going to learn the different possessive adjectives in Spanish. To say my in Spanish, yeah, it's not correct to say de mi, of me. It doesn't make sense in Spanish. It doesn't work like that. We'll have a look at that later. But to say my in Spanish, el adjetivo posesivo singular would be me. Me and plural would be mis. We'll talk about this in a minute to give you extra information on how to use these possessive adjectives. For your informal, we are going to say tú and the plural tus. We don't say de ti. Don't worry, we'll talk about this in a minute. If you want to say your formal, yes, if you want to establish that relationship, then we have to say de usted, yes, of you formal, de él o de ella, yes, so of him or of her. We'll talk about this in a minute. But if you want to use the possessive adjective, if you want to say her or his, then we say su. So su significa your formal, his and her. And sus is the, plur the plural form, so it will also mean your formal, his and her. To say our in Spanish, you can say de nosotros, de nosotras, ¿sí? of us, yes, of we, we would say the literal translation is, and the possessive adjective for our would be nuestro or nuestra, and the plural form is nuestros, nuestras. Your for vosotros, would be de vosotros, de vosotras, and the possessive adjective would be vuestro, vuestra for the singular, and vuestros, vuestras for the plural. Don't worry, we'll have a look at some examples. Your uh, meaning from you all in Latin America, remember ustedes means you all in Latin America, and vosotros means you all in Spain. So we can say de ustedes, of you all, and the possessive adjective will be su and sus, singular and plural. And there will also be the ellos, the ellas, see, si, of them, or the possessive adjective will also be the same as ustedes, su and sus. So in Spanish, we don't have the genitive case to establish belonging or possessions. We have to say the whole phrase using the, which means of. So in, in Spanish, we don't say uh, my uncle's son like that. We just have to say the son of my uncle. So in Spanish, we would say el hijo de mi tío, the son of my uncle. 
el hijo de mi tío. O Ana's house, we would have to say the house of Ana. We have to say la casa de Ana. La casa de Ana. The house of Ana. I know this is something different that we need to get used to, but if you want to do that relationship, establish that relationship of possession in Spanish, just think about the whole phrase. How would you say that in English? The weird way, yes? So the, the house of Anna or the uncle of the son of my uncle, yes? And then you'll be able to do it and translate it into Spanish. There are some other things that we need to pay attention to. Number one is that yo and tú cambian, so they change. Uh, they are irregular after the preposition de. So if we have de plus yo, we say de mi. Okay, we don't say de yo, it's incorrect. And de tu becomes de ti, not de tu. Okay, that's also incorrect. They're irregular, we have to change them. Uh, now, the only thing is de mi and de ti are not used for possessions. So de mi and de ti are not used for possessions, like we were looking at the previous table before, we say de mi and de ti, doesn't make sense for possessions, we have to say mi, mis or tu and tus. Something important to talk about the possessive adjectives in Spanish is that they are going to match what we are possessing, they are going to match in gender and in number what we are possessing and not the person possessing, okay? Not the relationship establishing by the person that, that owns or belongs to something, okay? So let's have a look at this example. La madre de nosotros, la madre de nosotros, so here madre es femenino singular, so we have to say our, and remember we have four different options. We can say nuestro, nuestra, nuestros, nuestras. Which one would you pick for our? Remember, we're not going to match nosotros, we, okay? We're not going to say nuestros madres, okay? Nuestros madres is incorrect because here we're matching the mother, what we own, what we have the relationship with. So we have to say nuestra madre because madre is femenino and singular. Can you see this here? If we were now talking about our father, yes, el padre de nosotros, see, ¿sí? the father of us, <laughs> el padre de nosotros, as you can see, we, the possessive, the possessive people, yeah, the people that are possessing or the relationship is the same, we, we're talking about we and our father. But now we changed from madre to padre. Now padre is masculino and singular. Therefore, we need to say our father is nuestro padre. Okay, is that, does that make sense? Remember, we have to match what we own, not the person owning the thing or the person. Vamos a practicar. Let's practice. I want you to complete the following sentences with the correct possessive adjective. So remember, in between brackets, you're going to have the relationship of him, of her, of us, etc. And I want you to use me, tú, su, etc., etc. Respuestas. Ellos son sus primos. Ellos son sus primos. So remember, here sus is the, the plural because we are saying, we are matching it with primos. See, they're um, his cousins, the cousins is a plural and is uh, his, we want to say his, so we have to say sus. Yo soy su hija. Yo soy su hija. Número tres. Ella es nuestra abuela. Vuestra madre tiene 56 años. The next one. Tu novio es de Portugal. Su esposa es abogada. Ella es muy inteligente. The next one. Nuestras tías son amables y buenas. Nuestras tías. Mi suegra no es amable. Mi suegra. De vosotros, the next one is vuestros padres tienen los ojos marrones. I hope you were able to use the correct possessive adjectives in these cases and remember we're matching what we're possessing in this case. Now let's do this exercise. 
you have to rewrite the following genitive cases in English into Spanish, like the example. So, por ejemplo, Melissa's apple, we are going to say, remember if you have to think about it, how we say it in English, the long way would be the apple of Melissa. So in Spanish would be la manzana de Melissa. Respuestas. Juan's keys, we're going to say las llaves de Juan. Ana's book, el libro de Ana. Pedro's dog, el perro de Pedro. Laura's car is going to be el coche carro de Laura. Roberto's house is going to be la casa de Roberto. Mario and Julio's cat, el gato de Mario y Julio. Daniela's plate, el plato de Daniela. Karina's friend is el amigo o la amiga de Karina. Julia's bed is la cama de Julia. Manuel's brother is el hermano de Manuel. Christian's father is el padre de Christian. Y Luis's mother is la madre de Luis. Okay, so remember we don't have the genitive case per se like that in English. We have to say the whole entire phrase to establish the belonging. Ana's house, la casa de Ana. Ana's mother, la mamá o la madre de Ana. I really hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Y nos vemos en la próxima clase. I will see you next class. Adiós.